Right, Greg, thanks for joining us. Quick word about the game on Saturday. Obviously, very disappointing. Um, just not the result or kind of performance that we wanted here. No, um, it's a tough one to take because obviously I thought we controlled the game and I think um, possession based we, we had a lot of the ball and it's the first 30 minutes I thought it was going really well when they got the goal and to concede so soon after was a bit of a blow and then the way the kind of game flowed after that wasn't the way, way we wanted it to go. Um, I think if we had kept it 1-0 for a, a period um, we could have played the more the way we wanted to and, and not so much letting them get the second goal and then they can, they can get into their shape and it's so hard to break down after that. I guess it's frustrating as well because it was individual errors that kind of cost us on Saturday as well and there's nothing you guys can do sort of going forward to, to help me sort of remedy that in terms of you can't keep scoring goals all the time. No, I know. Um, yes. It's one of the things, it, it makes your job harder in terms of scoring because they can sit in but at the end of the day it's individual errors that the team as a collective need to take responsible for, or responsibility sorry for, um, and move on and, and to be honest we just need to put the game behind us and, and move on and uh, get a win this Saturday. Chance to bounce back this Saturday, another home match, our home form has been really good this season up, up until up until Saturday there, but we've already beaten there at East End Park this season, they've been on a bit of a shaky run as well so that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game but it's, it's, we'll be targeting three points. Yeah, um, always targeting three points. It's, as you say, it's never ever an easy game in this league, no matter who you're playing. It shows bottom of the league come here, and I don't know that the scoreline reflects how the game went, but you, you get beat, and um, anything can happen. I always say this league's mental, and you, you try to predict it's it's not possible, so um, now we'll always be looking to win them. And another example of that, our growth going up to Inverness and winning on Saturday means it's so tight in this uh, race for the playoffs and I guess avoiding the playoffs at the bottom at this stage. It's, uh, if we can string a few wins together, we can really pull away. Yeah, uh, in this league, if you can get two or three, three wins in the, the bounce, you, you really go up the table. I think we've seen that when we won the three in a week and it propelled us right up into the playoff places. We just need to get a, bit, a wee bit of consistency together and, and try and get a flying up there. From your point of view, Greg, obviously there's uh, some managerial changes at Kilmarnock. Um, have you been in touch with James Fowler and the guys there to find out what your situation is going to be going forward? I don't know what my situation is just now. Um, I think it's the next couple of weeks it will be decided. So um, I'm just also focusing on the game on Saturday and seeing where where it kind of takes me. I'll, I'll need to speak to both parties and, and see what the script is. Because from your point of view, you'll just want to play football and you know, you look, you look, I mean from the outside, looking in, you look like you've been enjoying it. This no, it's, it has, it's been really good. Um, it's, it's really enjoyable obviously playing every week and, and being involved and we were obviously doing well until the last couple of results isn't the way we want to go. But um, no, it's, it's been it's been really good and I, oh, as you say, I just like playing football so no matter where I am and, and football, I just want to be on the pitch and playing. And finally, you know, that's uh, two or three defeats on the on the spin now. I, I'm not detecting any sort of, you know, disappointment or depression around the camp. It's all about trying to bounce back, just like we did earlier on in the season. No, we need to keep it positive. I think if you get yourself too down, as I say in this league, a couple of loses, you go you go down, a couple of wins, you you fly up the table. So um, it's just about staying as positive if you can. I always I always say that and. If you can get a couple of the wins, then you definitely see a difference.